The Bay Area deals with the fentanyl crisis. San Francisco is rethinking its sanctuary city policy. Yeah, one supervisor, in fact, proposing legislation that would exclude undocumented immigrants who are arrested for dealing the powerful drug. We have Crawford's Will Tran on the story for us live in San Francisco to explain. Will. Well, James, you can see City Hall right behind me, and it was City Hall that enacted Sanctuary City back in 1989. Now, his supervisor, Matt Dorsey, has it his way that if you are convicted of fentanyl distribution and you are an undocumented immigrant, and they believe about 30,000 of them live in San Francisco, and that a vast majority of undocumented immigrants, if they are caught as far as distribution, they end up being undocumented immigrants, being the drug dealers. If you are convicted within a seven-year span of your first conviction, you could be deported and that sanctuary city status will not be extended to you. Sanctuary city, uh, city status has obviously been around for decades, but it was candidate, president, as candidate, excuse me, Donald Trump at the time talking about securing the borders. And in fact, back in 2017, when he was the president of the United States, he threatened to withhold millions of federal dollars to San Francisco because of the sanctuary sanctuary city status. San Francisco ended up winning back in 2020 in court. But in this particular case, if this passes James and Rena, it will be the second wrinkle as far as sanctuary status and not being extended because it's already on the books. If you're an undocumented immigrant and you are convicted within seven years of a violent felony, you will be deported. So this is just one more layer. How bad is fentanyl within San Francisco? According to investigators, the amount of fentanyl recovered just in our city alone last year is enough to kill every adult within California.